collectible spot. Spot's having a look at the suckadelic, suckle, simply and unimportant collectible kitschy little eyesores. Also, first, I'd like to preface this review by saying this video is not going to really be suitable for kids, as the tone kind of material that's on these not really the most uh, child appropriate. Um, this is a line of uh, muscle themed PVC figures. Comes from the folks over at Psychedelic. Um, Spots actually got eight of these, and uh, we're gonna open these up and we're gonna have a look at these individually. But first, I just want to show you the packaging on some of these. Gotta bring the camera back a little bit. There we go. The back says collector's item only. This is not a toy, and uh, it's not designed or made for ch for children, which I can easily see why. Uh, simply unimportant, collectible, kitschy little eyesores. The characters consist of, and I'm not gonna read some of these for obvious reasons. We have Sucklord 66, the Gay Empire, Necromancer, another <clears throat> bitch, Galactic Jerkbag, Sucklord 43, Sucklord 16, Ass Wipe, uh, Tyrannosburg, and Vector. It's sculpted by George Gaspar of October Toys, 8-bit character renderings by Mark Baudet of Onel Design. Um, it says the most degenerate and despised characters from this suck suckadelic universe are rendered again in this lame form. Once considered great pop art uh, by up and coming master, the super suck lord, these characters have gone from limited edition hand produced art objects to these tacky mass produced crap items. I'm actually just reading it from the back of the card here. Guided by greed and a sense of diminishing returns, the artist eagerly sells out and, re and turns from high ideals to shilling low ticket consumer items to cheap sake, uh, cheapskate idiots. Collect them all, jerk off. Want more? Visit suckadelic.com for further confusion. Now again, before we open up all of these, uh, let's look at the packaging on, on the, uh, all the ones we got here. We've got Gay Empire, Time for War. I love that these are carded, even complete with the little peg hole at the top there, little clamshell. Uh, these would be good if you had, you'd probably want to get a couple of these uh, so that you know you didn't have to open these up. If you want to keep one sealed and open up the other one, you can do that. But we got Gay Empire. Moving along, I'm going to kind of just go, go like this. We got Galactic Jerkbags, Asterion, Hybrozoid, Gamma, Suck, Trosaurus, uh, 42-7800. Love the artwork on the side there as well. Next, we have Toy Lords of Chinatown, Ira Tyran Tyrannisburg. Like the mask on them. Are those eyebrows? I think they are eyebrows. The card on the back, by the way, is the same, so I won't show you the card, card, back card for all of them. We have Ass Wipe. Little roll of tissue paper, toilet paper those there. We have the Necromancer. And we've got Toy Lords of Chinatown, Vector the Intolerable. We've got probably a little harder one to read here. I'll let you guys read it. There you go. And lastly, We've got Suck Realm 6000, Suck Lord 66. And same card on the back. That being said, Spot's gonna actually open these. Gonna open up these cards and uh, gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna get a better look at Suckles. Simply unimportant, collectible, kitschy little eyesores. Don't go anywhere, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, with them out of packaging, let's get a better look at the suckles. In the same vein as the uh, the muscle pieces that these are inspired by, the suckles come in this kind of flesh-colored pink plastic. These are these are PVC pieces, and uh, we'll go through each of these again. Again, Spot will apologize for some language in this in this video, but uh, we've got ass wipe. We'll roll of Toilet paper. It's got some sneakers going on there. On the side, it says Porculo or Chulo. Porculo. 
A nice sturt, sturdy uh, plastic for these as well. Again, in that same vein as muscle. Ass wipe. Put him to the side. Ass wipe does not stand very well. There we go. Uh, next, we have Sucklord 66. Actually, I think this is Sucklord 43. Got a cape going on there as well. Very familiar looking helmet, I'm sure, to some some uh, sci-fi fans out there. Again, I don't have to, I'm sure, tell you that these are all stacked and you can't move the arms or head or anything like that. Okay. And next, see, he does not stand very well. We'll actually look at the other one as well. We've got Sucklord 66. Again, this could be Sucklord 43, 66. Not quite sure. We'll double, just double check on that. Sucklord 43. Actually, I think this one is 43. The other one is 60, Sucklord 66. Again, business suit. Very well dressed. That double breasted. It is a double breasted suit. I love these things. Monster in my pocket. Uh, muscle. Always big fan of the little PVC pieces. So this is right up my alley. Put that to the side. We have one that was in the packaging that looked like this. B-I-T-C-H. Didn't look so bad from the back, but then when you turn it around, ooh, ooh, yeah. Has a general grievous face to it. Kind of gross. Just keep it like that, maybe. <laughs> Just keep it like that. Moving along. Uh, this would be Vector. Comes a little gun. Almost looks like he's got a, somewhat of a Decepticon kind of logo on his belt. And the cape. And next, we have Galactic Jerkbag. Got pincers for hands, a very insect like face. If they haven't already, I'd love to see these in uh, in like a glow in the dark treatment as well. Now, October Toys, if you remember October Toys, they also had their little versions of, uh, of little PVC figures. Put that to the side. We got the Necromancer. Looks like it has the Eye of Sauron in the hood. That's what it looks like on the back. Try not to knock all of these over. Some of them stand better than others. Just, just the uh, backdrop here. They don't always stand well on this backdrop. Um, next, we have the Tyrannisberg. Tyrannisberg. A Spartan like mask. I like that. Okay. And lastly, the Gay Empire. With a very, very familiar helmet. Fun little pieces. Uh, appropriate for children? I suppose once you got them out of packaging, yeah. Yeah, you could still give these to kids. Packaging-wise, a little more on the adult end of things. There you go. There's the suckles. Fun little pieces. If you guys are interested in uh, ordering these, getting them for yourself, uh, Spot will put some information down below for you. Today's collectible spot, there's the packaging. We're having a look today at the Suckadelic Suckle, simply unimportant, collectible, kitschy little eyesores. <laughs> Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.